Hey guys, welcome back to uh, the bench. I have a new project on the go here. I thought I would uh, pass on the information to you guys. I have a pretty interesting idea here today. As you can see, I'm working on the Rubicon JK from Axial, the four-door version. And it's the RTR with all the plastic links and stuff. And, uh, oh yeah, metal, metal, metal. Boy, do I love metal. So, these links are custom made by Crawlin over at Rock Beach Customs. Link below. Have a look. The guy is making these incredible steel links. Uh, kits made up for front and rear on the JKs and stuff like this. So, the axial trucks. If you guys want a really nice set of links, that's a really good price. You got to go see Crawlin's Garage. So, anyways, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take off this friggin' Y-Link. Why? I cannot believe that they're still using this thing. They've been using this thing on this poor truck for, what, 10 years or something like this? Anyways, why are they still using this thing? This thing is prone to breaking in the front. It doesn't give you very much... Anyway, I don't even want to start talking about that because I'm going to get into bad mood. So... What I did is I took the Y-Link off, as you can see, and I'm still going to leave the servo on the motor on the axle. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, as you can see, the servo plate is held on with three screws here. One, two, three. This one is going to go, and that three-link truss jobby thing is going to go, and I'm going to put on the axial four-link bracket. Okay? This comes in the plastic kit, so it's all the parts are right from Axial, so it's right on. And I've got my uh, Rock Beach Customs um, link kit, bottom and top, and these are the two top links that go with that. So I'm going to put them on here, and uh, it's this is really easy. Take a look at how easy this is. I don't even have to take the servo plate off of the axle, okay? So just make sure these screws aren't falling out here. Now, I already know what you're going to say. You're going to say, okay, well... There's three screws on my servo plate right now, and if I take one out and throw it away, just like that, and I get rid of this thing, this uh, three-link truss thingy, what I'm actually doing is I'm leaving my steering servo to the vices of two tiny little screws instead of three, and they're two screws that are screwed into a piece of plastic, and they're sticking out of the top of the axle housing, yeah. And, uh, you know, they might bust off. Yeah, but I doubt it. So, uh, sure, is this... Uh, anyway, this thing has to go. And what I'm going to do is take this... Oh, I forgot my wrench. Just a minute. Okay, I got it. I had put uh, little set screws in here to keep the mud out of the axle on the sides here. So uh, as you can see right here there's those top mount holes. I had put set screws in there to plug them. So I'm going to take those out. But anyway, so uh, it's true that there's only going to be two bolts holding the thing on. But I'm okay with that because this is an RTR still. I'm using the stock servo which isn't exactly like King Kong strong or anything. It gets the job done, but it's not that strong. It's not like there's a 500 ounce servo in there. So uh, I'm going to leave the tray on. See the tray is still on with the two posts that are there. And I'm going to put this truss right in here like this underneath. See it fits right in under here. And then you can put your four link right on top. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to actually put the links on here first because otherwise it's too hard to get in there. So I got my new brand new Rock Beach Customs links here. Whoa, parts are flying all over town. I'm going to drop in the link into the truss like this. Slide the factory screw back through there. This is all stuff that came in the axial kit so easy peasy. Do I need that screw? No I don't. Here's the, the nut that goes on the back of this. Let me get this stuff set up here. Alright. 
I'm going to hold on to this nut. I'm going to get my wrench here, two millimeters. And crank all these links together here so this stuff is all nice and tight. Not too tight. It's plastic. Take it easy there, man. Whoa. So, links, four linked, ready to go into the truck. See what's going on here now, eh? Yeah, you're catching on. Good job. Okay, I'm going to drop this right in here. This thing is going to get shoved in underneath the top plate here, like this. And I'm going to just squeeze it around the holes here and get it in there. And it, sit, it sits into the axle housing. It goes in around the back of the axle housing. And it goes in the top. It sits under the servo mount. Just like that. Let me get that held in there so you can see it. Alright. So, you see what I did there? It sits right in there. It sits under the servo plate. See that? So I'm going to put in the front screws again. There's two screws there in the front that hold all that together. So I'm going to shove those back in. Doom be doom be doom be doom be doom. And then of course uh, the axial four link truss has these two screws that go in the top from the top down. That's the whole reason I did this with the axle completely out of the truck, by the way, because there's two screws from the top down, and you really can't get in there with the servo in the way and blah, 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 so it has to come out. And then I'm going to put these two little screws in the top, like I was saying. They go in the top of the housing here on the outsides. And that, the nice part is that'll also plug in those holes again so that they don't get more dirt and sand and rocks and stuff in there. You ever had rocks in your axle housing? It's bad. Water's bad, but rocks are really bad. So, look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll give you a close-up here. So, there's the four-link truss from Axial. It's the same truss that comes on the back of the Rubicon. Fits under the servo plate. It's got the two little mounting screws on top here on the outsides to give it some extra support. The servo plate is still held on by the two st stock screws on top. The truss attaches with these two screws right here, one there, one there, and then of course the two on top like I said. There you go, servo can go right back on. And I'm going to drop this thing right in. Thanks to uh, Rock Beach Customs, the links are the right size to drop right in. They replaced the Y-Link exactly. So this thing, gone. Now I've still got my servo on the axle. I'm going to have the same steering I had before, maybe better. And uh, I've got this nice solid steel links. Awesome! And I'm using all axial parts that were right in the kit box anyway, so there's no, nothing extra to buy. You buy the link kit and you put it on with the stock parts. And if you can handle your servo plate having two screws instead of three, man, this is a, such an easy mod, and it's rock solid. I'm going to go ahead and mount it on the truck. You guys head over to Rock Beach Customs, link below, and check out some super awesome steel links. That's how you set up a four link on the front of a JK Rubicon with no extra parts. It's all in the box. Enjoy it.